Hey, I'm 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 gonna call right now. Uh, on the I'm gonna call the uh, swap shop phone line. Hit the hit the middle. Hit the, the, the there's three buttons. Hit the middle one and just leave it and then pot pot up the phone. Yes. Yes. All right. I'll call you right back. Bye. In addition to local scholarships, Kimball Dates provides the Sailor community to fundraise for their activity or club by providing a daily menu and supplies to host the hot dog with a sale. Kimball Dates, you're proud to support the Sailor Shopping. This is here for Doc's Auto Clinic with an announcement for all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing is the name. Again, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. You go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Ridge Drive. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Hi, this is P.J. Wood, the president of Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley Bank is so proud to sponsor the Steamboat Sailor Athletic. The sailors consistently have the best all-around athletes, big guitars, and the loudest, most loyal fans. Thank you for your support of the Steamboat Sailors. Listen and watch on Steamboat Radio, KTYB 105.7, Sports on FM. And remember, let's go, sailors! Hey, I'm Brian Ripley, the Mungo Series. We are with the Fairly Group, supported by the Group Real Estate. We are proud supporters of Steamboat Sailor Sports. As a high school coach and a member of the Fairly Group, our team is dedicated to serving the community and finding ways to give back. Just like a Steamboat Sailor, we value teamwork, integrity, and character. For all your real estate needs, find us at thefairlygroup.com. Let's go, Sailors! For your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 JTYB, Sports on FM. My name is Ben Byers, I'm from 68, and I play right wing. I've been playing hockey since I was like 8. Some personal goals, score goals, uh, team goals, win state, and some other sports I do, lacrosse, yeah. Those are stuff you can do, that I can match. I'm gonna go straight this summer and travel. Stand up after I graduate, not play soon. My favorite movie is Batman. I am Finn, and I am proud to be a Steamboat Sailor. That yeah. was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV, Sports on FM. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM. Brought to you by Nick Valley Bank. Alpine Run, the Steamboat Moving Company. I Furnish, Mountain West Insurance, Switchback Sports, Mountain Eye Works, Scott's Auto Credit, Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Auto Club, AOE, Hardware, and the all new Steamboat Motors. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM. Let's go, Steamboat Sailors. At 105.7 and SteamboatRadio.com. We now send to the group for the call of Steve O'Neill Talk. Steamboat Sailors getting ready to take on the Battle Mountain Huskies. Cal Cal uh, 
now we're underway here. Oh, there we go. We are underway here, and um, let me just see if we can get that settled in. Trying to dial in my levels, your levels. It is a beautiful afternoon for hockey. Sailors have the puck. They work it in deep, out to the point. Sis can't handle it. Flips it across the blue line and in. Stevenson in deep on the forecheck. Playing big, playing strong. Kelly, how's it going today? Good. How are you, Brian? I'm doing pretty well right now. Um, just underway. Sailors, you were there for this first game uh, that they barely beat the Battle Mountain Huskies. You look at their record and you're like, uh-oh. You know, they're 5-9 they're and nine and we're 10-5. and five And you're thinking, oh, this is a walk in the park. And it's definitely not necessarily a walk in the park because it's Battle Mountain. Yeah, it's Vail, baby. Face-off work back to the point kept in there by Zanamanacek. Now here comes Battle Mountain back the other way. That's Garrison with the puck. He gets broken up along the half boards here in front of us. Cross-ice pass. Goes into the neutral zone. Good forecheck there by Patty Bomer. You know that kid. He's had a great season this year. A lot of hockey smarts. Yeah, they've all had a good season. All these kids, it's nice to see this uh, group of seniors and juniors all kind of come together. No doubt. Puck on the sideboards here. Battle Mountain in black. You can watch this game at the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. Kelly Bomer, uh, double duty today, working the camera and our colored commentator. Just underway here, 15.30. Left in this first period, 0-0 zero, zero to score. Headman pass. Looking for Landon Ripley. It was Cody out Kretschmar, but uh, that one flies into the Battle Mountain end. Long stretch pass here, and here come the Huskies back the other way. Puck pitch fork in behind the net. Vasily, the freshman, getting a little playing time here on the varsity level. He spent some, a bunch of time playing JV, so it's good to see Cole out there. Yeah, yeah. he's a good kid. Absolutely. The, the future is bright, I would say, for Steamboat Sailors hockey, and uh, the future is now as well. Finn Beyer working the puck out. That one gets intercepted, taken away, shot. And it's great to see Jacob Ducklow getting a little time between the pipes. Yeah, Jacob, uh, I believe he played the Vail game as well. Yeah, he, he got the win. Yeah, he did. It was 2-1, uh, to one, I believe. 2-1 to one or 3 It was 3-2. 3-2, sorry. 3-2, no, no, you're good. It was a one-goal game is what we're trying to say. Yeah, about. yeah, that's right. Face off here to the stick side of Jacob Ducklow in the Sailor's Cage. Puck controlled here by Battle Mountain. The Huskies work the puck back behind the steamboat net. Battling in Gretzky's office right now. Bayer can't push the puck forward and out. Kept in here by the Huskies. There's a centering pass off the back of the net. There's a shot in the goal. So Battle Mountain strikes first. That's number four, Gannon Sharkey with the goal. What happened? Yeah, just a little uh, turnover. A little turnover in the uh, zone. And, uh, next thing you know, they get a shot on net. Pump it in down low. And, uh, one nothing there. About a mountain, I should say. That worked in deep. Back behind the battle map cage. There's a goal scorer right there. Sharky. He was, he was circling like a shark. Duck low. Jake puts the puck into the corner. Fritz and can't quite get the body on. Kept in here at the time. There's a shot. Turned away by Jake. Now Heck Stevenson. Still ready behind the net, much like Bobby Orr. Up top. Elliot Connor Elliott bringing the puck in deep on the far side. Goes back behind the battle. And here comes Battle Mountain back the other way. Back fourth game here. Really, the Huskies score on their, their lone real scoring chance. And there we go. Yeah, keep buzzing in and out, maybe. Yeah, you, it's better now, though, isn't it? Yeah. Check, check, check. Just trying to... Shot on that by Bessie there. That was nice. This line has been very effective. Yeah, I love this line. Uh, these guys grinding, they work their butts off, and uh, they kind of know their role in the company, but they've been producing a bunch of goals, and 
and wreaking havoc on the ice. It's really great. I mean, I know in the in the the game down in Glenwood, we got into penalty problems. Yeah, and, and so we couldn't roll all four lines. But that's the beauty of this team. There's not a ton of drop off from one line to the next. No, they're actually all fairly consistent little players too. They like to have fun out there, and they got everybody's back. It's uh, more than skill or luck. Uh, these guys have each other. Absolutely. <laughs> one nothing to score. Battle Mountain on top face off here to the left side of the Sailors net. Fritchin with a puck here. Puts it back behind the cage. Goes D to D with it. Up the right side. Nice break out here by the Sailors. Byer with the puck. Tries to flip it across. Now gets some help from Fritz and Angus. Fires the puck in. Off the leg of the goaltender. And here comes Battle Mountain back the other way. Over the red line. Ripping the puck in deep. Back behind the Sailors net. Where it's picked up by Zanamanacek. Max with the puck. Working it across ice there to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Max. Zanamanaj check. Rifles that puck up over the blue line. And night camp. Well, and that offsides. line was offsides. Yeah, just a little. We call that squirt offsides. Yes. Just barely offsides. <laughs> <laughs> so 12-20. Two left in this first period. One nothing to score. Sailors, look, we kind of need to run the table to, to keep this number two seed in the state. Yes. And this, this Battle Mountain team is fighting for their playoff lives, which makes them really dangerous. It's always a dangerous game playing these guys. Anybody can win on any night because uh, similar draws of town, you know, same yep. size, and if you're not a ski racer, hopefully you're a hockey player. Vasily can't control the puck now. It's picked up there by Hep Stevenson working behind the, the net. Comes out. Gets it over to Patty Bomer. Bomer holding. Flips it up off the sideboards. Not all the way. Trickles down deep. And controlled here by the Husky D. Got him. Supposed to be a chip and chase, not a chip and trip. <laughs> but put in there by Bomer. And long, long pass across. Nice play by Ripley. Good pressure. Not letting these Huskies out. This Husky team relatively young. Yeah, I think they had five seniors, I yeah. believe. Well, we, we see a lot of these kids, mountain kids will end up, especially at the Bay Area, it's really easy to do, is they'll end up play AAA, AA hockey yeah. down in Denver. And um, it, it's a wreak havoc on the Aspen program. We lose a few players every year. And obviously, so does the Battle Mountain program. Fritzen with the puck right now. Behind the Sailor's net in the corner. Getting knocked around there. A little scrum going on. Steve can't quite get it out. Puck bouncing around. And look out. Here come the Sailors. Grant Sis rushing the puck up to the blue line. Now Fritzen whacks at it. Puts it in deep. On the four check, good rotation here by the Sailors. Wrapped around the boards on the other side, and I can't can't come up with it. Excuse me, that's Bayer. And here come the Huskies into the steamboat end. Fritzen and Sis on D. I gotta say, I love Sis. He's yeah. such a hard-working kid, blue collar, only a sophomore. He's got that Moffat County yeah. mentality. Son, son of a coal miner. Yeah, Brian. Son of a coal miner. And he plays like a son of a yeah. coal miner. So de definitely uh, a tough kid out there. And, 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 and Steamboat needs that. Yeah. Mix it, mix it in with the cake eaters. <laughs> we'll, we'll take them. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll coal miner on my team any day. Absolutely. Puck flipped up into the neutral zone. It goes. one nothing to score right now. Battle Mountain on top. Fritzen behind the net, puts on the brakes, goes back the other way. I'm sorry, that's Stevenson. Heck, working the puck up to Connor Elliott. Elliott up to Sawyer. Sawyer got pondering. Can't get it in. We've got a couple of the young guns out there. Gavin Whitlinger, the freshman, to Sawyer Vietnam, who's had a great sophomore season. Yes, he has for a uh, ninth grader. Pretty he's, he's actually a sophomore. A sophomore. But he's, he's worked his tail off, man. It's, it's been fun to watch and track his... And there's a shot on Duck. He makes the stop, and we're going to get a face-off here. 
in the, the sailor's end. I want to see what I have to do here, Kelly. Um, kind of get control of the puck and set something up and, you know, get it out, get it in, work hard in both ends and uh, get shots on net, Brian. Jump up, jump down, <laughs> jump around, get it out, get it in. I like that. Puck bouncing around, back to the point, shot through traffic, Ooh. turned away by Duck. Back out to the point, another shot fired in, but that one's blocked by Nightcamp. He puts the puck into the neutral zone. It's whacked back into the steamboat end. Now Sailor's trying to control. Up to Norton, Ty. Battling away, nice job. Ty can't chip it in, Nightcamp now. Chasing after the puck. Sailor's haven't quite gotten control and settled down and sort of got, yeah, got their offense going. They're playing panic hockey right now. Yep, panic puck. So, Sailor's working it out of their own end. Cross ice up to Norton. Yes. Over the red line. Puck fired in deep. Ripley on the far side. Getting a little support from Norton and Nykamp. Puck behind the net, centering pass, and we've got a whistle. It's going to be a cross check, and it looks like it's going to go. Is that on Steamboat? I don't know. Good guys. I think it's a good guy penalty. A oh, bad guy penalty. Oh, take them both, ref. Oh, uh, that's that's smart. Yeah. Early in the game, take them both. So 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 we got matching penalties, which doesn't mean a whole lot. So we'll be skating five on five here. It does mean they can no longer get a penalty in the next two minutes. Yes. <laughs> That's, that's all it means, Brian. Okay. I'll take that. Cody up, crutch mark. On the face-off. Works the puck back. Controls it back to Zanamanachek. Chips it off the sideboards there. Centering pass. There's Ooh. a shot. Oh, what a chance. Kodiak had an opportunity as he walked in. Couldn't quite put the biscuit in the basket, though. Puck behind the net now. And controlled by the Battle Mountain D. Good pressure here by the Sailors on this forecheck. And Nightcamp there in the corner, getting some help from Kodiak. Kodiak looking for the puck now. Nightcamp back to the point. Max Z with it. Off the sideboards. Crutchbar dangling. Crutchbar in the corner. Looking for a little help. Tries to enter Gretzky's office, but can't. Gets turned away at the door. Dorman wouldn't let him in. And here come the Huskies. Access denied. There's a shot turned away by Duck. And here comes Steamboat winding it up. Ripley to Crutchmar. Back to Rip. A little give and go. Ripley taking it down deep. He needs some help though. He gets knocked off the puck by two black shirts. And now Battle Mountain trying to work it out of their own end. We got a delayed offside as McIntosh put the puck in momentarily. Sailors do tag up. And Jacob French in deep. He leaves it for Shoreland. Shoreland. Now these guys, these guys are another one of my favorite lines because physically they're not big dudes, Kelly, like you yeah. and me, but very effective. Got Jersey Shorezy out there. And Macintosh. Back in deep. Down deep, and we've got, we've got some noise going on here. Yeah, I think the clock. Oh. That's why we don't run the clock anymore, Brian. Dude, that is a job I never take. There's a couple of jobs. I don't wear vertical stripes, even though they look good on me. Yeah. Um, and and I, I will never run a clock. And you're the, capable of both. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I've yelled at, as a coach, both the guys in the vertical stripe and the gals and the people running the clock. So another reason why I probably don't. Karma is a you-know-what. Yeah, it is. So... You are tuned to KTYV Sailors Hockey, brought to you by Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only owned bank. Bringing you the big check of the game. Stevenson with the puck. Headman pass to Shoreland. Austin can't handle it, and the puck fired back in behind the Sailors' net. Steamboat with it behind their own net. Trying to work the puck up that other side. They do. Byer gets knocked off the play. McIntosh back to Stevenson. Stevenson up to Shoreland. Sailors working the breakout into the neutral zone. Jacob French trying to get a stick on it. Buyer, and that puck goes in deep. And here comes Steamboat. Little pitch fork pass there up to Shoreland. Shoreland streaking down this left wing side. 
flips the puck in deep. Charlotte and Jacob in deep battling for that puck. French can't get it. Puck squirts into the neutral zone and it's pushed right back into the Battle Mountain end. And now we get some fresh legs out there. Bayer still in on the forecheck though. And now Sawyer. Vietnam's out there. Bayer in deep over to Soy. Oh, Soy got Ponder. He couldn't get that one. Now Vasily. Backhand pass up to Elliott. Elliott over to Vietnam. Vietnam. Intercepted. Here comes Battle Mountain down the left wing side. There's a shot turned away by Duck. Duck low. Leaves it for Vasily. Cole, the freshman, working it up this left wing side. Can't get it. Now controlled there by Fitzen. Fitzen back to Vasily. Vasily up this left side. And that's the freshman. Whitlinger gets a shot in on that rebound. Oh, almost. Way to follow his own rebound. Yep. Uh, his peewee coach used to tell him that all the time. Yeah, boy. <laughs> long, long cross ice pass. Well, you probably yell him at that, right? Not just tell him? Uh, were you a yeller or a teller? I was more of a teller. Nice. Talked to him on the bench. Um, every now and then. The yelling was usually directed at, uh, and, and I tried hard not to even yell at the referees. Yeah, yeah because it's a thankless job. So the only thing we would say to the refs is thank you. Yep, they're the only ones getting paid. Yeah, but oh, here you go. We're later, two on one. Here they come, walking in. Putting it's on the brakes. Norton, back deep, wraps it around the net. Wiggler couldn't get a hold on that. Nightcamp, God, he's a big boy on skates, isn't he? Yeah. You should see him playing lacrosse, Brian. He's I amazing. have. Oh, I have. He's a beast. He's been starting since he was a sophomore. Yeah. Whitlinger pushes him off the puck. Cross ice pass. Looking ahead to Norton. Norton streaking in. Left wing side. In deep. Norton oh. stays with the puck. Oh. There's a shot. Rebound. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, they got it. Score. Steve Who cleaned up the mess in the back side there? I think it was Jersey. Short, little, little Shorzy. Jersey Shore. Jersey. Austin. Jersey Shoreland. That's what the kids call him, Jersey Shorezy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because he's just dirty. Look, that kid's got like a 90% face-off win percentage. Yeah. He's like a student of the game. He skates better than anybody out there. 1-1 so the score. Austin Shoreland with the goal. Sailors tie it up. I think his mom taught him that skating, right? Absolutely. Three. Diane's a beast. I used to coach her. When I coached the Chicks with Sticks back in the, back in the late 90s, a long, long time ago. <laughs> 3.30 left. That's so a teenager, right? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately not. Bomer, Patty Bomer there on the four check, doing it very effective, keeping the puck in deep. Still not letting this Battle Mountain team out. That, that, oh, puck was intercepted, kept in by Zanamana check. Oh, there's, a, there's another goal! And... That was tipped in. The shot was for Matt D. And then, is Bayer the one who got the, who is that that got the ball? Is a, is a man of money check got it. Well, I, I thought Ballmer got the tip in on it. No? Nope. Is a man of money check. Pop that thing in. It just slipped. See, I puck, Brian. We like that. Yeah. So the Sailors, two quick goals back to back. Getting some momentum here with just over three minutes left in this first period. That's what you want before you go to the locker room, right? Yeah. Now, Nightcamp going to the penalty box, is this an equipment deal, or is he in trouble? I think it's an, uh, it looks like he's talking to the trainer. Okay. Maybe he got his head knocked about. Yeah. They leave the puck for Stevenson. Stevenson walking in. He's so dangerous. Yeah, he's a fun player to watch. He's like Stretch Armstrong out there, yeah. too. Bomer, get him in uh, pressuring. Him and Angus Fritzen on D, and oh. man, they're beasts out there. Well, such, such great skaters. Uh, and and this D is, you know, I mean, uh, is young actually. Yeah. With a lot of seniors on this team, you know, the D is mostly all juniors and 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 Max. Here comes Steamboat out the other way, coast to coast. Oh, he's Ripley gets hauled down. We're going to have a penalty, and the Sailors will be. Skating with a man advantage. Yeah, that's going to be uh, good. I think that first line just went off the ice, though, which is their um, power play unit. So 
give some other kids a shot to uh, Gannon Sharkey, the goal scorer, headed to the sin bin. Big shout out to Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building materials. And Sharkey was throwing the lumber around right then. Yeah, he was. It, uh, maybe Landon may have stepped on his skateboard. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Just called it. <laughs> There's no penalty for stepping on that skateboard. <laughs> Shoreland, back to Zanamana check, off the faceoff. In deep. Back behind the cage, Taylor's trying to control. Is that Vietnam? Yeah, that's Soy Dog. Puck in deep. Back to the steamboat end, picked up by Max Zanamanacek. It's taken me four, five years to get that last name down. <laughs> and you have to add an extra syllable. Yep. And, and Kate, Kate instructed me several times. Elliot, Connor, working deep. Circles behind the net, goes through Gretzky's office. Now leaves it back, looking for Norton back there. Shoreland battling for it. And the puck chipped into the neutral zone. Sailors forced to regroup. Back to Connor Elliott. Elliott, winding it up with some speed. He is fast and he's got a hard shot. Down that right Ooh. side, he gets pasted on the boards. Stays on his feet. And you can tell that one hurt, hurt because he looked at the guy who hit him. Write that number down. Yep, just get the number, call him later. Back up to Vietnam Sawyer, left wing side, takes it in deep, looking for a man out front, or three. So Sawyer's a freshman or a sophomore? Sophomore. Right? He's sophomore. a sophomore. Okay, you said that, that one. Back to Hep. Hep, shot. Turned away. And Steamboat controls. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson walking in. There's another shot. Kick save. Back out. If we can't keep that puck in, it's going to go all the way down to the Steamboat end. we got about 54 seconds left in the period. Zanamana check, leaving that for Stevenson. Heck, up to Ripley. Ripley over the red line, over the blue line, skating in far side. Leaves that one for Heck. Stevenson with a puck. Cross ice pass. Over to French. Jacob works it behind the net. Sailors looking. Over to Stevenson. Stevenson through oh, traffic. Oh. Rebound. Shot. Oh, that one trickles wide. Sailors couldn't put it. Stevenson with a couple of opportunities back to the point. And a nice job there by Zanamanacek. Can't control, is that Kodiak? Kodiak, Kodiak Kretschmann. It's been a few weeks since I've called the game, so you are always welcome to correct me and help me out. Puck back behind the net here. And we go. teams are at full strength. Oh. We're gonna get a face off with like 0.2 yeah. seconds left. Kier just shot the puck out of the stands right at his dad. His dad may have given him an evil look or an evil finger. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> one figure salute. Yeah. Hmm. He said he couldn't use the car last night, and he did, so. <laughs> <laughs> Two on the score. Sailors on top face off here. And that's going to do it after one period of play. Sailors got goals for Max Zanamanacek and... Zamanamana check and who was the other? Was it Shorzy? Oh. Jersey Shorzy. Yeah, Jersey Shorzy. All right. Jersey Shorzy. So the Steamboat Sailors, a good period of play. They, 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 they went down by a goal. They were playing, as we said, Cody, uh, uh, Ke Kelly, kind of panicked hockey. Yeah, they, they, were, they settled it down towards the end of the period. Yeah, they definitely settled it down and Gain a little more control. I think this next period should be a little different for them. They're going to come out and uh, maintain control of the puck. And they can do it. Absolutely. Big shout out to our friends at Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Dots and Payment Solutions, Steamboat Ace Hardware, Steamboat Motors, the Paoli Group, the Group Realty, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, iFurnish, Mountain Eye Works, Steamboat Roofing, Switchback Sports, and Docs Auto Clinic. Now, one-off auto center. Same great service, same place for all your automotive repair needs up on Copper Ridge Drive. We'll be back with second period action after one period. Your Steamboat Sailors 2, the Battle Mountain Huskies 1, live from Owls and Ice Arena. I'm Brian Harvey alongside Kelly Bomer on KTYV. Your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection at 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Those new tools are high for this.
Rest insurance. Back sports. Nine rows. Stock auto sales. Mountain mattress and home chair. Hi, this is Tony with iFurnish, Steamboat's newest furniture store. We've been in Summit County for 15 years and we're excited to bring fashionable, affordable furniture to the longtime locals of Steamboat. Whether you're looking to furnish a rental, remodeling, or just want an updated look, we've got it. We've got 11,000 square feet, carry bunk beds, sleepers, dining room sets, recliners, and much more. We're proud to be a local, family-owned furniture store right here in Steamboat. Stop by our new location at 1855 Shield Drive in Steamboat or visit ifurnishco.com. Stop and pay the solutions of God's sponsor, Steamboat Sailors Broadcast on KTYZ Sports on FM. Hi, this is Zach from Dotson Payment Solutions. Are you running a local business and tired of paying too much for credit card processing and not getting the local technical support you need? Join our team today at DotsonPOS.com. That's D-O-D-S-O-N-P-O-S.com. Dotson Payment Solutions is the home team for point of sale, payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and more, and a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors, your home team. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services is proud to bring you this broadcast of Sailor Sports. They know each athlete has worked hard and dedicated themselves to their sport. That's how Mountain West was built, through hard work and dedication. Their local agents are ready to find an auto, home, business, health, or farm and ranch policy to fit your life. Visit one of their offices in Steamboat, Craig, or Meeker, and good luck, sailors. Services. Solutions for life. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYB, Sports on FM. I'm Max Anomanacek. I'm number eight and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for 12 years. For goals this season, I hope that we win the state championship and I want to go and play really well at the home arena. It's a big hit. Other things I do, I play guitar and like working construction. Very fun. Favorite subject in school is math because it just it makes sense. It's easy. So what we did this summer is my team won the state pickleball championship. After I graduate, I plan on getting an engineering degree and yeah, going to college. And my favorite movie is Hacksaw Ridge. My favorite book is Clifford the Big Red Dog. I am Max Anamanachik and I'm proud to be a Steamboat String Sailor. That was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYB, Sports on FM. Hey, say you switch back to Ford, a proud supporter of Steamboat Sailors Athletics. Our new store is now open, so visit us at 402 Lincoln at the Into the West building in downtown Steamboat. Come check out our largest new selection ever and experience our extraordinary customer service. We can't wait to see you at our new store at 402 Lincoln Avenue at the Into the West building in downtown Steamboat. Switch back to Ford, we bring the mountains to you, and we're proud to support Steamboat Sailors Athletics. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services is proud to bring you this broadcast of Sailor Sports. They know each athlete has worked hard and dedicated themselves to their sport. That's how Mountain West was built, through hard work and dedication. Their local agents are ready to find an auto, home, business, health, or farm and ranch policy to fit your life. Visit one of their offices in Steamboat, Craig, or Meeker, and good luck, Sailor. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services. Solutions for life. Now and I will open for all your IT needs. Whether you're on the field, court, or ice, now and I will still help you play to the best of your ability. Now can I work? Let our family help your family be better. Dr. Erica Musgrove and Dr. Brian Williams provide comprehensive eye care for all ages. Compete all the latest fashions with glasses and sunglasses. Now and I work. Located in Central Park Plaza in Steamboat and Victory Way in Flint. If you're all fruitless today at nursingarrows.com. Go Sailors! 
Hi, this is Tony with iFurnish, Steamboat's newest furniture store. We've been in Summit County for 15 years and we're excited to bring fashionable, affordable furniture to the longtime locals of Steamboat. Whether you're looking to furnish a rental, remodeling, or just want an updated look, we've got it. We've got 11,000 square feet, carry bunk beds, sleepers, dining room sets, recliners, and much more. We're proud to be your local, family-owned furniture store right here in Steamboat. Stop by our new location at 1855 Shield Drive in Steamboat or visit iFurnishCO.com. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 JTYB, Sports on FM. My name is Cody Akrachmar, and number 37, I play center on the Steamboat Trains High Steam. I've been playing hockey for 13 years. The goal that I have this season is our team win state, and I want to shoot far down at our home arena. I was a in activity, not much. I still don't take the ball a lot. Maybe the duck up to the by the science. I'm good at it. What did you do this summer? Get my team won the state football world championship. Coming back to graduate, I'm a CU commit. And favorite movie would be Toy Story 3. Uh, I am Cody at Kretschmar, and I'm proud to be a Steamboat Spring Sailor. That was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV, Sports on FM. Alpine Lumber is proud to support Steamboat Springs High School Athletics on CCYV Sports on FM. We believe the competitive nature of high school sports builds character and is a good indicator of success and future life for those who participate. An employee-owned Alpine Lumber we foster and encourage teamwork and we know that athletics build that strong sense of team and working for the greater good. We are proud schools of Steamboat Sailors High School Sports. Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend, easy to find behind Walgreens on the other side of the track. Hi, this is P.J. Woods, president of Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley Bank is so proud to sponsor the Steamboat Sailor Athletics. The Sailors consistently have the best all-around athletes, biggest hearts, and the loudest, most loyal fans. Thank you for your support of the Steamboat Sailors. Listen and watch on Steamboat Radio, KTYB 105.7, Sports on FM. And remember, let's go, Sailors! Hi, I'm Peter Sagal. When we were growing up, my two brothers and I just loved our Uncle Ted, like a really cool big brother who always brought around the best toys and took us to the best places and with whom we always had the most fun. It was odd, though, when we got older to realize he wasn't nearly as outgoing and adventurous with other adults. I found out much later that this might have had something to do with the ostomy bag he wore ever since he was diagnosed with Crohn's disease as a teenager and had part of his lower intestine removed. Peter Skolnick, my Uncle Ted died last year at the age of 30, never having once mentioned his illness to me or my brothers. He left a large bequest to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation to help fund better treatments for these diseases and also to help other people, old and young, seek and get help for the situation that he was never able to talk about. Don't feel you need to make your Stillyourguts.org to learn more about the treatments available and even find specialists. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 JTYB. Sports on FM. My name is Angus Christen. I'm number six in FA defense. I've been playing hockey for six years. My goal for the season is to make a run in playoffs. I ski and bike and my favorite subject in school is science. And this summer, I went on a road trip to Massachusetts. My plans after I graduate are to go to college. And my favorite movie is Happy Go Home. I'm Angus Fitzgerald. I'm a proud to be a Steamboat Sailor. That was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV, Sports on FM. Charlie here from Mount Mattress and Furniture, a proud sponsor of Steamboat Springs High School Sports Broadcast. Ready to go for participating, watching, or listening, a good night's sleep is important to get help. With Mount Mattress, the best price guarantee, we'll get the lowest price on all the best brands in the country. We have the largest selection of mattresses in Northwest Colorado, and our family strives to offer the best service in the Valley. Mount Mattress and Furniture on Loggers Lane. Mountain Mattress is the place when you need to rest your face. Put our mattresses to the test, and you'll see we're the best. 
Hi, this is PJ Woods, the president of the Yampa Valley Bank. The Yampa Valley Bank is so proud to sponsor the Steamboat Sailor Athletic. The sailors consistently have the best all-around athletes, biggest hearts, and the loudest, most loyal fans. Thank you for your support of the Steamboat Sailors. Listen and watch on Steamboat Radio, KTYB 105.7, Sports on FM. And remember, let's go, sailors! Hello? Where are you? Just letting you slip. I thought you were coming. Ooh, I can't. I moved there with the flu. <laughs> the flu? You didn't get a flu shot? Uh, I wish I did. I can't believe I'm missing out on Greg's wedding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was about the crowd, sir. Wait, not about the what? <laughs> what? Man, I'm up that. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like another case of flu sulfur. I feel stuck at home with the flu. A flu shot is safe, effective, and you can get it at the same time as your COVID-19 vaccine. A flu shot is the best way to prevent the flu and its potentially serious complications. It keeps you protected. Protecting our community can't wait. So I get stuck inside with a flu. Don't get flu Learn for it. Get my flu shot. Dot org. by the AMA, CDC, and the Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM. Brought to you by Mrs. Alexander Alpine Rum, the Steamboat Moving Company. I furnish Mountain West Insurance, Switchback Sports, Mountain Ironworks, Scott's Auto Center, Mountain Manson Furniture, Rockford Auto Co op, the AOE Grupo Lake Hardware, and the all new Steamboat Hunters. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM at 105.7 and SteamboatRadio.com. We are the of the Homer live here at the Allison Ice Arena. After one period of play, 2-1 the score. Steamboat Sailors on top of the Battle Mountain Huskies. Kelly, yeah, Sailors got down early. They looked, it was it was interesting. You know, we talked about it off mic. Sailors looked like they were the one who took the bus ride the first five minutes. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe some of these kids skied powder this morning, Brian. Maybe. I got it. And skiing was good, right? Skiing was really good, as always. Uh, Steamboat kind of came out a little bit slow. Vale had a little bit of pump in their step. And they got to an early lead. one nothing, and uh, Steamboat kind of battled back the last 10 minutes of that first period, too. Yeah, they started to come together and, and really, um, you could team play. They're moving the puck around, not afraid to move it back. Possession's the name of the game. Um, great forecheck. And that had the, towards the end of that period, Sailor's forecheck created some opportunities, including the goal from Max. Zamana Monacek. <laughs> the Z-Man. Zamana. Now you're now. That's Z like. Zamana Monacek. Zamana Namanam. That's how you just put the K's in there. Zamana yeah. Namanam, but it's Zamana Monacek. Zamana Monacek. And now, see, now you've got me completely confused. I'm blaming it all on you, Bomber. It's the extra syllable. Syllable, several extra syllables there. But Magsy playing well. But let's see who the sailors are going to send out here to start this period. It looks like uh, the kid line. Yeah, Gavin Whitlinger is going to be out there. So is it Solar Vietnam out there as well on the far side there? No, that's... Yep, Sawyer at center. And it looks like Connor, Connor Elliott. That's Connor Elliott on the far side. So the con man. He's had, a, uh, he's had a good season. You know, this, this senior class was sort of overshadowed through their career. But you know what? They play so well as a team. Yeah. There's no, like, there's a few stars on the team. But you know what I'm saying is, like, there's no drop-off here. If they, don't, if they stay out of the penalty box, they're dangerous. Yeah, and they're all good friends, too, because they yeah. all played, like, Pee Wees through Bantams. A lot of these kids were B-teamers. 
um, and you know a couple of years on the JV squad due to those large senior yeah classes and uh, it's finally their turn and um, it's pretty cool to see because we've known these kids for a long time just like you have Brian <laughs> you've the, coached some of these kids I have uh, in fact two of the boys that are out there right now so. yeah you did so and you were a hell of a coach Brian uh-huh that's why I'm back here up in the booth. They got your banner hanging right above center ice. They got one of them. So off the face-off, there's control. Wheeling her ahead to Elliot. Elliot in deep. Back around the backboards, kept in by Angus Fritchen. And we just he, talked to his parents before the game, too, you know, at the crawfish boil. Um, super psyched. He's having a great year, too. Oh, absolutely. Again, the, this, this whole defensive core led by Max Zanamanachek um, is just that most of them are going to be back except for Max so again the future is bright but they're so strong and when you can when you can run the show through a defense like yeah. these guys can and you look at our scoring leaders Heck Stevens up there Stevenson is up there as is Fritzen um, they're all really the core of this team and then we just roll these four lines look out Puck we've got neutral zone action here if you're listening on the radio Connor Elliott with it retreats back to his own end tries to flip it up over the blue line does that puck goes high and somebody's got a yeah souvenir I think souvenir. it's a free soda right free yeah. soda oh absolutely bring that to Dimitri uh, Puck shagging at the front desk Puck shagging you get a free yeah. soda tell him tell him Vladen sent you yeah so we're down to 15-17 left in the second period. 2-1 the score. Settlers on top. Face off here just outside the steamboat end. And puck push forward. Keir Nightcamp battling for it. Get some help from B B from Bessie. Lance Bessie, not Brent. He's, he's out of eligibility. Yeah. He's but a 26th year senior. Yes. <laughs> He may not have graduated from high school, but he can't play any more hockey. I thought he's got one more year left because of COVID. He may. He may. He may. Ah, he's lucky then. <laughs> uh, that's going to be an icing, and the faceoff's going to come down to the steamboat end of the ice. Grant Sis out there on defense with Heck Stevenson. Nightcamp at center. Off the faceoff. Puck control to the boards. Nightcamp. Contesting for it. Puck flipped up to Bessie. Back to Nightcamp. Nightcamp in. Oh, pass. oh! What an opportunity there for Norton. Ty Norton tipped the puck over the net. Just over the crossbar. And he had an opportunity. There's a shot. That was that a real hockey play, Brian. It was. Back out. Norton leaves it for Nightcamp. Nightcamp chips the puck in deep. Bessie battling for it. Centering pass. That one's dispossessed and taken away here by the Huskies. Here comes Battle Mountain over the red line. Buck backhanded in. Picked up by Sis. Sis fires it across to Stevenson. Stevenson headband pass. He's got Bessie. Bessie down this right wing side. Knocked off the play. Ouch. Norton battling for it behind the net. And here come the Huskies. Back off the sideboards and in. There's a shot off the side of the net. I can't picks it up and we're going to get is that Stevenson he's going to go to the sin bin. yep another what the heck penalty <laughs> what the heck heck <laughs> he's better than that it, it, it was a, he had a muscle spasm it yeah. looked like it looked like it was a slight muscle spasm there and he was that bad tick he's got and he ended up uh, not a penalty if you out muscle him is it Brian no but it was as soon as the arms extend ah. he's in trouble got to work on the jab yeah being uh, secret yeah it was more of a hook so heck stevenson to the penalty box and a power play here for the huskies that puck flipped out by kodiak kretschmar all the way back down to the battle mountain goal sailors uh, on the four check here kretschmar and Ripley, and Ripley comes away with a puck. Ripley's going to take it in deep, circling the net, back behind the net, just ragging it, taking some time. Now he's going to bring it into the neutral zone, looking for some help from his defense. He finds that. McIntosh, headman pass, no ice. And Ripley is going to 
be just a fly in the ointment right there, right? Yeah, just pestering them. There they go. Grutschmar, again, great forecheck here. Good penalty kill. And that was something that um, Coach Ripley said in the pregame interview that they really have been working on because in the uh, first game against Glen Glenwood, the two goals that Glenwood scored were both power play goals. Yeah. And so Sailors so saw that as something they needed to work on. And uh, they have been very efficient here on this penalty kill. A little offsides there. Or was it? What happened? I'm not sure. 13-15 left in this second period. Two on the score. Sailors on top. 50 seconds left in the power play for Battle Mountain. I'd like to thank our friends at Mountain Mattress and Furniture helping you and the Sailors get a good night's sleep. Come in for a test nap today on Rogers Lane. Off the face off. Good job there by Byer. Byer's going to fire the puck in deep back behind the net. He's giving chase. Again, good kill here. Get your second unit in, and they're just as effective as the first. And really, Battle Mountain not able to get anything going. Max Zanamanacek tries to fire it off the boards and out. Can't. Now it's behind the Sailors' net. Working the perimeter now are the Huskies. Up to the blue line it goes. Good pressure there by Bayer. Sticks on the ice, trying to clog those passing lanes. That one goes through the goal mouth, and here comes Teamboat back the other way. Bayer. Oh, tried to push that one through to Bomer. Couldn't quite find him. Puck bouncing around. Good pressure there by Patty Bomer. Back in deep. Bomer still. There we go. Oh, Shorter. Shorter looking for a second goal. Breakaway. Oh, shot and a big stop. Nice save, goalie. So a, a big stop by the Battle Mountain goalie, Evan Humphrey. Sophomore goaltender. It's a nice save. It was a nice little get, too, for uh, Jersey Shorzy. Little breakaway action. Three guys chasing him. Shoots it over the goal. His glove, though. I'm pretty good at that. I usually hit him right in this insignia, right in the logo. Yep. Quickest chest in the West. Yep. Puck works in deep. Vasily, the freshman, streaking down there to touch up the puck. We'll get the face off back down in the Husky end. This one is going to go to the stick side of the Battle Mountain goal. Sailors have a Shoreland face-off specialist. Bayer to his right. French to his left. Vasily and Fritzen on D. Fritzen's going to... One gets by Fritzen. He's going to quickly grab it. He leaves it for Jacob French. French flips it up off the boards. Looking for Shoreland. Can't control. D to D. Vasily now, quick cross-ice pass, nice! Shorland, far side, he's got Byer out front, looking for Byer, Byer can't get the shot off, there's a rebound, French hey. follows up. Fritzen now with a shot through traffic, that was a, a really nice flurry there. Yeah, buzz in the net, that's what happens. Good passing by this line of Byer, Shorland, and French. Fritzen. In deep. French. A little extracurricular there. Puck slipped all the way down and it will be a nice. It is slippery out there, Brian. Very slippery. These kids need to watch it. 11.32 left in this second period. Two on the score face off here to the glove side of Humphrey in the Battle Mountain goal. So Whitlinger's going to take this face off. Sorry. Sawyer moves over to the right wing, Vietnam. Stevenson behind Whit. Whit gets it back, tries to dump it to Stevenson. A little too much on that one. Goes between his legs and all the way back down to the goal line at the Sailors' end of the ice. Up off the sideboards, off the ref, kept in there. Stevenson stays with it, fires the puck in deep, no ice on the plate. No, they call it. Huh. Looked like it went off the defender. It did look like it ricocheted off of somebody or something, Kelly. Yeah. I'd like to thank our friends at Dots and Payment Solutions, bringing local point of sale, payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and more to your business. Learn more at DotsonPLS.com. But back to the point, that one flipped in, tipped off of somebody's stick, went into the netting above the net, got another face off. Yeah, go ahead and even see that. Neither did I. Goodness, they have netting there. 
<laughs> and we're not sitting behind there. So the face-off here to the glove side of the Sailor's net. Sawyer off the face-off, tries to bring it back behind him. Puck tied up, trickles behind the net, centering pass. That one's broken up here. Sailors with the puck, flipped up by Fritzen to Whitlinger. Whitlinger pressuring, good job by Gavin. Fritzen now keeps that puck in at the blue line. That one goes wide of the net, Connor Elliott on the far side. Oh, big hit by Connor Elliott. That right there is a Yampa Valley Bank big check of the game. Separated the puck and the Sailors having an offensive chance here because of that hit. And now the puck goes into the neutral zone. So errant pass there. And here come the Huskies, but a good job by the Sailors to get back into it. Fritzen controls the puck from behind his net. Looking for a long cross-ice pass. And that's going to be a nice... So with 9, 37 left in this second period. 2-1 to score, Sailors on top. Yeah, both teams are playing a little bit uh, hack em whack em hockey, you know. And nobody really wants to puck that bad. They just keep whacking it. whack a mole hockey. They're whacking it and they're whacking each other. Yeah. yeah there's a, there's, it's getting physical out there. We have like a, Elliot, that was the guy that smashed Elliot earlier. Yeah. I think he got his number. <laughs> I think he did. I think Connor got the best of him, yeah, too. Yeah, he won. There's a... It's a save, we'll take it. Yeah. Jacob Ducklow getting the start. Jacob hailing from Hayden, Colorado. Solid little goalie. Had a win the other night against uh, the Battle. same team. Battle now. So he gets another start. Coach wants to keep him fresh, knowing you've got to... These guys have got to see the puck. And uh, something happens to senior goalie. You, you want to make sure your backup is yeah. seeing some time. And there's not a whole lot of drop-off anywhere on this team, which is really cool to see. Yeah, both teams playing pretty well uh, this season, you know. Minus that penalty from Kier for not skating. <laughs> but he's all right. We like Kier. We like them all, Brian. We certainly do. Zoom in on him for his grandma in the penalty box there. Wave, Kier. Kate Cavanaugh, of course, the starting goaltender, has had a, a great season. Yeah, both goalies have played really well this year. Yeah. So back controlled here by Battle Mount. Power play here for the Huskies, another one. So not exactly what Coach wanted. And that one's intercepted, pushed into the neutral zone, forcing the Huskies to regroup. Here they come back in. Good pressure here by the Sailors. Physical play. Jesse playing the body there. Puck out. Uh-oh. Shot. Ducklow with a big stop. The save of the beauty. A nice little save for Duck. It can be... Uh Giving the puck over in our own zone, though, to those shooters. That was dangerous. Yeah, that was dangerous. So 8.25 left in the second period. 2-1 to score. 1.28 left in the power play here for the Battle Mountain Huskies. Sailors on the kill. Working it back. Kretschmar. And Shoreland out there right now. There's a shot. That one's turned away. McIntosh battling for the puck. Steamboat can't quite get it out. Now they do. No ice on the play there as that puck is cleared all the way down to the Battle Mountain goal. Good pressure there by Shoreland, slowing the play down. He's like a mosquito. Yeah, and we love that. This this line, I love about this line. They're just they're flying all over the place. They're not the biggest kids, but they make it tough. Yeah. They or French and Shoreland probably weigh about 135 pounds a piece and maybe they play a lot bigger than that that's for sure so working the puck in there's a shot and a nice stop there by Jacob Ducklow showing some glove yeah not bad duck face off here to the stick side of Jacob in the sailor's net 31 seconds left in the power play 808 left in this second period, two on the score, Sailors clinging to that one goal lead. And 
we've got two power plays here in this second period. They gotta, they gotta start rolling their lines. Yeah, get, getting a rhythm going. So off the face off, puck controlled here by Battle Mountain, but good pressure there by Sis as the puck into the neutral zone, forcing Battle Mountain and the Huskies to regroup. They go D to D here, and again, good pressure there by Kodiak Kretschmar. That puck taken away, broke away here by Landon Ripley. Ripley winding in, there he goes! Buries it! That was a full stretch goal. That makes it 3-1, but again, that's all the pressure. Yep. Hate the pitcher, Kelly, tell us what happened. Well, uh, Landon just got the puck and kind of muscled his way in the zone and had a breakaway. I'm going to give that one to Kodiak Crutchmar yes. because he was originating the pressure That's true. That, that sort of caused the errant pass by the Battle Mountain Huskies. Ripley was able to uh, take that puck, find an, an opening, a seam, if you will, of the defense and got a breakaway. And uh, he, he's, he is not going to shoot the puck at the insignia like I would. He made a beautiful move. Beat the goalie, and the Sailors now can breathe a little bit easier with a 3-1 lead here. Let's see if they can add to that. Heck Stevenson with the puck with some open ice. Stevenson, long cross ice pass. Looking for Bomer. Bomer gets a stick on it. Puck goes in deep. Good pressure here by the Sailors. But here comes Battle Mountain. Oh, we're still in. Yeah, Kretzmar takes it away. Kodiak battling for it. Bomer helping out. In deep. Gretschmar, Ripley. Let's see if they can get another goal in this shift. We're down to 6.40 left in this second period. Sailors up 3-1. Back to the point. Kept in by Gretschmar. His shot. So the Sailors have got goals from Shoreland. Cody, uh, excuse me, uh, Zanamanachak and Ripley. Yeah, nice uh, distribution of goals. I think uh, those are all three lines have scored so far. Oh, minus the D. Well, the other line was out yeah, there. Again. Yeah. So French now on the face-off. He tries to work it back. It does. Gets it to McIntosh on the point. McIntosh's shot finds its way through traffic. Goes behind the net where it's picked up by Austin Shoreland. Shoreland back to Bayer. Bayer flips it off the backboards. All the way out. Looking for McIntosh. He can't get it. But a good job there by the Sailors to keep it in. And now here comes Battle Mountain. Good job there by Fritzen to get back. Fritzen plays the body. Pirouettes with the puck. Can't fire it up off the boards though. Puck in. Fritzen doesn't know where it is. And now the Sailors pick it up. Control. By Steamboat. Shoreland. Now back behind the net. And here comes Fritzen. The big boy. Fritzen going coast to coast. Over the blue line. Walking in. Gets a shot on the travel agent. Shoreland now keeping it in. He flips it behind the net, chases after that puck. Leaves it for French. French flying around. French, Bayer, and Shoreland. This is a quick line. Puck high in the air. Puck caught by Fritzen. Nice little move by Fritzen. Yeah. Puts the puck down on the ice. Puck backhanded in deep by Connor Elliott. He's going to give chase as Battle Mountain winds it up. That puck taken away. Once again, Sailors forecheck. Very effective. Byer intercepts that headman pass. Can't quite get a shot off, and now Battle Mountain forced to kind of regroup here. Back to Max Anamanachek, who's got it behind the net. Max. Bringing it up the far side, out over the blue line into the neutral zone. Now the puck's headed the other way by the Battle Mountain Huskies. If you're watching at home on the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel, Sailors in white, Huskies in black and gold. Puck off the sideboards, kept in nicely by Gavin Whitlinger. Now the puck flipped in. Connor Elliott's going to retrieve it. Fires it down. That, that puck was tipped, but the ref didn't see it. Scott Salentich with the icing call. Yep. 4.28 left in this second period. 3-1 the score. Yeah, he's a surgeon. He doesn't have good eyes. Yeah, he doesn't have great eyes. No. He has amazing eyes. <laughs> 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 <laughs 
puck back behind the net off the face off in the Sailors end. Whitlinger comes up with it, checks, looks, see if he can find Connor Elliott. Tries to get it to Elliott, but back to the blue line. That one kept in. Ducklow with a big save. He's got a man in his grill, but a good job there. And uh, oh, things getting a little bit interesting as number five, Nathan Ray, had a few words to say as he was escorted away from Jacob Ducklow, the Sailors goalie. Yeah, that was um, goalie. Yeah, pretty much had that puck covered. But, That's a goalie uh, protection plan right there. It is, it is, yeah. Don't mess with the goalie. Okay. They, you, they, they know that. Kelly, you, you, you played a little bit of goal in your lifetime. Oh, yeah. A few games, Brian. And it's it's always good when your team has your back. So we're going to get... Uh, imagine that. Whitlinger, we've got matching penalties here. I love it that the freshman... Take them both, Ref. Take them both. Yeah, it keeps everybody calm. That's that's the way to do it. No advantage here. Uh, but, but no surprise there. Gavin plays with a lot of passion out there. Guy camp off the faceoff goes back to the point. Ducklow. He catches that knuckleball. That you know, playing goalie, those are the hard ones to stop. Totally, they can go anywhere. <laughs> the awesome speed pitch. They find the holes in your gloves. Those are the pucks. that see our pucks. We find we call it the Brian Harvey slap shot. It'll do a loop to loop and bounce off the ice a couple of times before it gets to the net. Nice break out here by the Sailors. Now it's back at the steamboat end. You had a good shot, Brian. You had a good little shot. A little right. snapper. I don't know about that. But I'm trying to give you a compliment. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, Fritz had knocked off the play. Hit hard on the corner, but the puck could... That was Heck. Well, was it Heck? It yeah. was Heck. Sorry. Heck went down quick, but yeah. he's a big target. Yeah. Uh, Norton now battling for the puck. And, you know, all you have to do is look at the score sheet, and uh, you know number 36 is someone you're going to be yep. focused on. Uh, Bessie with the puck. Controls it back. Lance. Cross-ice pass into the neutral zone. Uh, puck flipped back in, picked back up by Bessie. Bessie tries to work it up the far side to Norton. Kept in here by the Huskies. Norton now tried to pick the puck up on the boards, far side. White shirts, black shirts, dancing. It is a snow coming dance here tonight, and I think the boys are getting an early, early practice. Yeah, they could be. Is it tonight? It is. Thursday night. Hmm. Interesting. You did hear about it? No, I haven't yeah. heard a thing. 3-1 to score. Thursday night's meatloaf night in our house, you know. Um, I thought we were still on for meatloaf. Uh, the musician or, or, the, or, 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 or the delicacy? Or the delicacy. All right. Now, who, who's the maker of the meatloaf? Is that you or Amy? Uh, Amy. All right. That's a, that's a pink job. Bomber. Can't control. Back behind the net, it goes. Sailors trying to pick it up here in the corner. In deep. Now, oh, Crutchmar can't come up with it. That kid's got wheels. Start over. And there's a headman pass. Oh, bodies all over the place. Bomar get, gets hit. Yeah. Ripley gets hit. Whistles. Offsides on the hospital pass there. Yeah. Boy, we got what do we have five refs out there right now? Uh, four. Okay. A lot of a lot of coaches. I see Dimitri. We got Salentage. Dan Harvey. We got everybody. Yeah, yeah. We got a good crew. Yeah, it's, they're calling a good game. They're keeping a lid on it here. If you like to give all of those guys a little bit of guff. Yeah, well parents too, which is good. Yeah, that's true. Fritzen. Up to Bomer. Patty. Now, McIntosh. Oh, he's got a black shirt right on him. Pins the puck in deep back behind the net. We're down to a minute 30 left in this for second period. Excuse me. Sailors up by two goals. 3-1 to score. It's sloppy right now. It's very sloppy. Puck bouncing around. Steamboat can't get it out of their own end. But now, three on one. Here they come. Puck left there for Fritzen. Fritzen in deep. Is the puck, is this clock moving? That doesn't look like the clock's moving. I can't tell, Brian. It's, it's hard to tell. Puck back behind the net. It is moving. Okay. 
very slowly, but it's moving. All right, back behind the net. Sailors with it. Stevenson dangling in traffic. Oh, that's Ripley. I'm sorry, I saw the six. Not the four. A little ripper. He's got some good hands there. In deep, McIntosh is going to take this one off at that close stick. McIntosh is going to leave it for his deep partner. Sailors working it out of their own end. Uh, content now is we're under a minute here left in this second period. He has the Charmin soft hands. Yes. French leaves it for Bayer. Bayer back behind the net. This is the lactose intolerant line. Yeah. These guys move fast. Puck flipped in deep. French battling for it. First one in there. Gonna tie that puck up. Puck kicked. Now we're down to 20 seconds. There is a centering pass into the neutral zone. That's gonna pick, be picked up by Zanamanacek. He fires that one across. Up this left wing side to Shore, Shoreland. Puck bouncing around. Over to Bayer. Bayer backhands it into the Husky end, and that's going to do it. So after two periods of play, your Steamboat Sailors clinging to a 3-1 a three, three lead. Good period of play. That was a nice period. Uh, both teams, I don't know, looked a little dull out there. Uh, there was a lot of bumping and grinding. Maybe uh, each team was trying to set tone. But uh, it's still pretty, uh, it's still good hockey. Absolutely. Big shout out to our sponsors, of course, our friends at Yampa Valley Bank, Yampa Valley's only lonely owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. They are lending, bringing you the big check of the game. And right now, early polls are, are favoring Connor Elliott with the big check. Yeah. That was a huge tech alpine lumber. Just smashed him, Brian. Just smashed him. The contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber. Big shout out to Doc's Auto Clinic. Now one off Auto Center. Same great service, same great place for all your automotive needs. Easy to find on Copper Ridge Drive. Switchback Sports downtown. Corner of 4th and Lincoln in the end to the West Building for all your skiing and biking needs. Steamboat Roofing for all your roofing needs. Go see Steamboat Roofing, helping the sailors raise the roof after every victory. And, uh, of course, our friends at Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services. And, Kelly, we could use a Mountain West insurance goal of the game right now. Oh, totally. I think we did with uh, that. But that's right. The worst goal, the worst lead is the two-goal lead. I, I think we got to get to three or four. Yeah. That's when I start breathing a little yeah. easier. Two-goal lead, dangerous. Big shout out to Bridget and the gang at Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware. Plumbing tools, grills, gardening more, knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. Also, dots of payment solutions, bringing local point of sale, payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and more to your business. Learn more at dotsofpos.com. Also, like to thank Mountain Mattress and Furniture, helping you and the sailors get a good night's sleep. To come in for a test nap today. We'll be back in about 10 minutes with third period action from the Owls and Ice Arena. Steamboat Sailors on top, 3-1 after two periods to the Battle Mountain Huskies on KTYV Sports on FM 105.7, 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM. Brought to you by Mr. Dallas Bank, Alpine Lumber, Steamboat Moving Company, Ty Furnace, Mountain West Insurance, Switchback Sports, Mountain Nine Woods, Scott's Auto Credit, Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Buffalo Auto Club, Bill and Bill and Cardwell, the only Steamboat Sailors. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM at 105.7 and SteamboatRadio.com. Alpine Lumber is proud to support. Steamboat Springs High School Athletics and CCYB Sports on FM. We believe the competitive nature of high school sports for character and is a good indicator of success and future life for those who participate. And fully owned Alpine Lumber, we foster and encourage teamwork, and we know that athletics builds that strong sense of team and working for the greater good, and we are proud supporters of Steamboat Sailors High School Sports. Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend, easy to find behind Walgreens on the other side of the track. 
Hey, I'm Brian Ripley. And I'm Justin We are with the Pale League, supported by the Group Real Estate. We are proud supporters of the Steamboat Sailor Sports. As a high school coach and a member of the Pale League Group, our team is dedicated to serving the community and finding ways to success. Just like a Steamboat Sailor, we value teamwork, integrity, and character. For all your real estate needs, find us at thepaleleaggroup.com. Let's go, Sailors! Hi, this is PJ Wood, the president of Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley Bank is so proud to sponsor the Steamboat Sailor Athletics. The sailors consistently have the best all-around athletes, biggest hearts, and the loudest, most loyal fans. Thank you for your support of the Steamboat Sailors. Listen and watch on Steamboat Radio, KTYB 105.7, Woods on FM. And remember, let's go, Steelers! This is here for Doc's Auto Clinic with an announcement to all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing is the name. Again, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Woods Drive. One-off auto center. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors and Steamboat Highway 40 on 105.7 KTYB. Sports on FM. I'm Tex Stevenson, I'm number 36, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for probably 10 years. Hockey's my main sport. As a team this year, hopefully we state. And then I'd like to get better myself. Favorite subject in school is shots. We do good stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do during the summer or after high school. And then my favorite movie is Cars 2. I'm ex students and I'm proud to be a Steamboat Train Sailor. That was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV. Sports on FM. Mount and I will open with all your eye care needs. Whether you're on the field, court, or ice, Mount and I will help you play to the best of your good. Mount and I will! Let our family help your family be better. Dr. Erica Musgrove and Dr. Brian Williams provide comprehensive eye care for all ages. Come see all the latest fashions with glasses and sunglasses. Mount and I will. Located in Central South Plaza and Steamboat and Victory Way in Flint. Get your own statement today at mountainirons.com. Go see! Hey, I'm Brian Ripley, and I'm Justin Reed. We are with the Fairly Group, supported by the Group Real Estate. We are proud supporters of the Steamboat Sailor Sports. As a high school coach and a member of the Fairly Group, our team is dedicated to serving the community and finding ways to success. Just like a Steamboat Sailor, we value teamwork, integrity, and character. For all your real estate needs, find us at thefairlygroup.com. Let's go, Sailors! Dr. Heyman Solutions are proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailors Broadcast on Cape Street Sports on FF. Hi, this is Zach from Dr. Heyman Solutions. Are you running a local business and tired of paying too much for type test processing and not getting the local technical support you need? Join our team today at DotsonTOS.com. That's D-O-D-S-O-N-T-O-S.com. Dotson Payment Solutions is a home team for point of sale, payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and more. And a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors, your home team. Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student-athletes outside to enjoy all the Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. The Steamboat Roofing Company is proudly working in and giving back to the Steamboat outdoor community. Keep like run, brew, Steamboat. Get all roofs, please visit us at SteamboatRoofing.com. Again, that's SteamboatRoofing.com. This is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, your proud Sailor Sports Sponsor. See you out there. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7, JTYB, Sports on FM. My name is Ben Byer, I'm number 58, and I play right wing. I've been playing hockey since I was like 8. Some personal goals, score goals, uh, 
team goals in state and some other sports we do, lacrosse, yeah. Hope this up with some school. I'd have to go to Mass. I'm going to go through this summer and travel. Stand after I graduate, not quite sure. I'll take the movie Batman. I am Finn, and I'm proud to be a Steamboat from today. Now with your Steamboat Stairway Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV, Sports on FM. Dotson Payment Solutions are proud to sponsor Steamboat Stairway's broadcast on KTYV, Sports on FM. Hi, this is Zach from Dotson Payment Solutions. Are you running a local business, tired of paying too much for credit card processing, and not getting the local technical support you need? Join our team today at DotsonCOS.com. That's D-O-D-S-O-N-C-O-S.com. Dotson Payment Solutions is a home team for point of sale, payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and more, and a proud supporter of the Steamboat Stairway's Home. Is your vehicle ready for our harsh Colorado winter? The all-new Steamboat Motors Expanded Service Department state-of-the-art repair shop is here for you and your vehicle. Servicing trucks, cars, and SUVs. From oil changes and tune-ups to full engine replacement and everything in between. Steamboat Motors certified mechanics will keep your vehicle running smoothly. Steamboat Motors, a consistent J.D. Power Award winner. Sales and service. Let Steamboat on Highway 40 and online at Steamboat Motors. Now in Ireland, open for all your eye care needs. Whether you want the field, curl, or ice, now in Ireland, we'll help you play to the best of your birth. Now in Ireland! So that our family may help your family be better. Dr. Erica Muskos and Dr. Brian Williams provide comprehensive eye care for all ages. Come see all the latest fashions with glasses and sunglasses. Now in Ireland, located in Central Park Plaza in Steamboat and Victory Way in Clare. Get your own food list today at nonsense.com. Go Sailors! Alpine Lumber is proud to support Steamboat Springs High School Athletics on CCYB Sports on FM. We believe the competitive nature of high school sports for character and is a good indicator of success and future life for those who participate. An employee-owned Alpine Lumber, we foster and encourage teamwork, and we know that athletic sports that strong sense of team and working for the greater good, and we are proud supporters of Steamboat State High School Sports. Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend, easy to find behind Walgreens on the other side of the track. Time now for your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7, KTYB, Sports on FM. I'm Max Nominacek, I'm number eight, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for 12 years. For goals this season, I hope to be in the state championship, and I want to go and play really well at the home arena, hope to make it. Other things I do, I play guitar and work in construction. Very fun. Still subject in school is math, it just it makes sense. Easy. So what we did this summer is my team won the state pickleball championship. After I graduate, I plan on getting an engineering degree. And yeah, going to college. And my favorite movie is Tax Star Rage, my favorite book, is Look for the Big Red Dog. I am Max and I'm and I'm proud to be a Steamboat Spring Sailor. That was your Steamboat Sailor Spotlight. Brought to you by Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat, Highway 40, on 105.7 KTYV, Sports on FM. Alpine Lumber is proud to support Steamboat Springs High School Athletics on CCYB Sports on FM. We believe the competitive nature of high school sports of character and is a good indicator of success and future life for those who participate. An employee-owned Alpine Lumber we foster and encourage teamwork, and we know that athletic sports that strong sense of team and working for the greater good, and we are proud to of Steamboat High School Sports. Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's trend, easy to find behind Walgreens on the other side of the track. Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student-athletes outside to enjoy all the Steamboat has to offer. The Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. The Steamboat Roofing Company is proudly working in and giving back to Steamboat outdoor community. Key by one Roof Steamboat. The schedule roof estimate, please visit us at SteamboatRoofing.com. Again, that's SteamboatRoofing.com. This is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we're proud Sailor Sports Sponsors. See you out there. Hey, I'm Brian Ridley, and I'm Justin Reed. We are with the Pearly Group, and by the group real estate, we are proud supporters of Steamboat Sailor Sports. As an high school coach and a member of the Pearly Group, our team is dedicated to serving the community and finding ways to impact just like a Steamboat 
Baylor. We value teamwork, integrity, and character. For all your real estate needs, find us at thepaleagroup.com. Let's go Baylor. Hi, this is PJ Wood, the president of Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley Bank is so proud to sponsor the Steamboat Sailor Athletic. The Sailors consistently have the best all-around athletes, bigger cards, and the loudest, most loyal fans. Thank you for your support of the Steamboat Sailors. Listen and watch on Steamboat Radio, KCYB 105.7, Sports on FM. And remember, let's go, Sailors! Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KCYB Sports on FM. Brought to you by Mr. Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Steamboat Moving Company, High Furnace, Mountain West Insurance, Six Back Sports, Mountain Nine Woods, Stocks Auto Credit, Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Upper Auto Toronto, KO, Steamboat Lake Hardware, and the all new Steamboat Motors. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KCYB Sports on FM at 105.7 and SteamboatRadio.com. We have the the of the Brian Harvey, Kelly Bowen are back live at the House and Ice Arena. Not your normal home crowd, but that's because we're playing at you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Matinee game. So uh, this game was supposed to happen on Saturday night, last Saturday night with the snow. We have it on 131, so... Here we are. Uh, no pep band. Uh, we got a, a decent crowd of parents here. A few few kids who look like they may be skipping school to, to watch the game, as they should. Absolutely. Priorities. So, just underway the third period action. Sailors on top, 3-1. After two periods of play, Heck Stevenson chases the puck down behind his own net. He leaves that puck behind his own oh, dangerous good. pass. Intercepted. There's a turnaround shot. That one goes wide of Jacob Deplo, the Sailors goalie. Shoreland can't get it out. Bayer trying to get it out, but they can't. Puck bouncing around here on this soft, freshly Zamboni dice. See the Dotson pros. Zambonis, both Zambonis wrapped. Puck bouncing around. Goes in deep. Yeah, I think local legend Ernie Thiel was in town wrapping those. Was he really? Yeah. They let him back in. Um, it was probationary. Uh, <laughs> darkness of the night, right? It's an overnight deal. But uh, I haven't seen any Ernie Thiel breakouts yet, so he, we've not used his name yet. But I mean the slap shot from behind the goal line? Yeah, that, oh, yeah. that actually wraps around the net. And oh, yeah. It's a breakout for the other team. So we've got a hooking call here. Mm. And uh, it is going to go against the Battle Mountain Huskies. Number 21, Gus Winnegar. Gus. Jump on the bus, Gus. Make a new plan, yeah. Stan, because you're sitting down for two minutes. Looking is the call, Sailors. Haven't had a power play here since the first period, so let's see what they could do here. We need a Mountain West insurance goal of the game here. We got Night Camp out there at center. He works that puck over to Ripley. Ripley dangling. He loses control of the puck. Vincent can't keep it in, and it's going to travel all the way down to the steamboat goal. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh. That went a little crazy. Ducklow tripped over the puck, but we got it, and Fritzen was that Ripley. Fritzen. Fritzen going coast to coast. No. Get travel agent stat status. Leaves it for his D-man, Stevenson. Heck back to Ripley, back to Stevenson. And now back to Fritzen. Fritzen through traffic. Ouch! That one hit off the back of Nightcamp. Oh. Centering pass through the goal mouth. Rebound, rebound, shot. That one goes wide. A great play by Evan Humphrey. As uh, there was a lot of white shirts in his goal crease. Buck bouncing around, back to Heck. Stevenson with the puck at the blue line. Puts it down to Fritzen along these half boards. Back to Fritzen here. Fritzen back to Stevenson. Stevenson shoots that one, bounces in. There's a dangerous shot. It was tipped on the way in. Touch bar back behind the Sailor's cage. Go ahead, a hard time tracking that one. Ripley can't quite 
We'll get it out now. Flips it through traffic. It's a lane. Nice shot. Nice save. That was a nice stop there by Evan Humphrey. No rebound either, you know. Both goalies are playing tight. Like a fat kid on a piece of candy, Brian. 14-15 <laughs> left in the third period. 3-1 the score. Sailors on top. They will send their second power play unit out there. Jersey Shorzy. Austin Shoreland with the faceoff. He wins that one, of course. Back to ball around the point. That puck bouncing around, and it goes into the neutral zone as it deflects wide. So he's going to pick it up. Max Zanamana. Oh, oh, oh. oh, couldn't quite control the puck. Good pressure there by the Huskies. Sailors having a difficult time getting out of their zone, own zone. And now Sawyer, Vietnam, chasing it down. Now it's picked up. Back behind the steamboat cage. And now Sailor's winding it up. Bomer. Patty finding some open ice. Cross ice pass to Sawyer. Vietnam walking in far side. Takes it in deep. Leaves it for Bomer. Bomer back behind the net to Shoreland. Shoreland looks oh! centering pass. Back out to Zamanacek. Max gets the shot off. There's another shot. That one's tipped. Goes wide. Night camp to Vietnam. In deep. And here come the Huskies. That's Ty Dort. Norton. Norton. Up to Bomer. Can't control. Vietnam whacking at the puck. Everybody's on it. Yeah. Now he flips it forward. Nobody so, wants the puck. They just want to hit it. Yeah, Sailor's going to get some fresh legs out there. Keir Nightcamp is pressuring that puck. A little help from Lance Bessie. Battle mount. Fires it into the neutral zone. Sailors pick it up. McIntosh flips it into the neutral zone. Tries to get it up to Norton. Norton can't control. Battle Mount now regrouping. Stevenson intercepts. Here comes Heck. Heck through traffic. Heck taking it in. Wines. Oh. Right out front. Centering pass. Nightcamp couldn't get a stick on it. And here come the Huskies back the other way. Oh, that's going to be a penalty there on Bessie. Yeah. As he hauled him down from behind. So with 12.37 left in this third period, Sailors on top, 3-1. Back to the sin bin, the Sailors go. It's unfortunate because they uh, really need to not let Vail walk back into this game with a power play goal. Yeah. So Bessie gets the hooking call. We've got uh, Connor Elliott at center taking this one. Puck control back to Stevenson. He fires it off the glass. Wraps it around all the way down to the Battle Mountain goal. Evan Humphrey settles it. And Whitlinger on the back check now as the Huskies streaking down that right wing side into the steamboat end. Putting on the brakes, setting up their power play. There's a shot. Ooh. And that one goes in off of Stevenson's pad. So sort of a seeing eye puck. Paint the picture there, Kelly. Yeah, just... Uh did that go off Hex? I thought Shin so. Or? I thought it at least deflected off of it. He had his leg down. Yep, seeing eye puck. Somebody brought him. Those, those aren't our pucks, Brian. Those aren't ours. I think those are the Vail pucks. All right, let's switch that up now. So that's a 3-2 game all of a sudden. Yep. These teams are going to be skating at full strength right now, but the Sailors really need a Mountain West Insurance and Financial Service Services goal right now. Locations in Steamboat and Craig Mountain West Financial Services and Insurance is here to help. Buck bouncing around here in the neutral zone. Sis throwing the body around. Fritzen tries to bang it off the boards, but not out. Good pressure here by the Huskies who've gotten a little a little momentum on their side right now, Kelly. Yeah, they do. They seem to be playing a little more downhill hockey than uh, we are. So those are kind of enjoying that two goal lead yeah. and kind of letting off the gas you just can't do that with a team like Battle Mountain they're hungry Shortland centering pass looking for Jacob French couldn't get the shot off back to Byer Byer shot that one goes wide good pressure here this line just flying around in deep and putt flipped up high taken by Shortland Austin gets it up to Fritzen Fritzen slows it down Fritzen cycles, works it deep. Backhand pass to Sis. Grant fires it across ice. That one's taken away, but Byer gets it back. 
Byer up to Shoreland. Byer gets it back. Byer back can no look. And now Sailors have it. That puck intercepted there by Sis. And backhanded into the neutral zone. Good pressure here by Bomer. Bomer. Can't control. And now Steamboat comes up with it. Landon Ripley winding it up. Ripley with some legs. He's got ahead of steam. Loses that puck but stays with it. Loses his stick. We got a penalty on the play. That's going to be a slash. Hmm. Interesting. De-sticked him. Yeah. Paint the picture, Kelly. What happened? Ripley just uh, kind of bouncing through that zone. Got the puck in there. And unfortunately, Vale, you know, if you're not going to skate, take a penalty. Which they did. Two-headed. Yeah. Overhand whack on the stick. Deep. Tomahawk chop. And, uh... Got at the Vail Valley chop, you know. <laughs> so Night Camp with, on the face-off here to the stick side of the Battle Mountain goal. Back to the D. D to D. Controlled here. Stevenson on the power play through traffic. Ripley intercepts that one. Probably should have let that one go to goal. And now it goes into the neutral zone and all the way down where it's corralled by Stevenson. Heck with the puck, slowing it down from behind his head. Sailors winding it up with a fury. Phil had a steam. Around, circling through Gretzky's office, leaves it back behind the Sailors cage. Into the Smash goal now. Ripley can't get a shot off. Knight can't loses his footing. And will Steamboat control it? They do. Fritz it with the puck. Fritz it over to Stevenson. Oh! One time shot on goal. So powerful, the goalie couldn't hold on to his stick, but he made the save. Amazing. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> kryptonite shot. That was a nice shot. Nice setup, actually, too. Good puck move there by the Sailors. D to D, it's one time slappy. And he got it on net. I was like, because yeah. that was a quick pass from Fritz and Stevenson just rifling that puck into the net. He's got a nice shot. He sure does. He's got a lot of leverage, Kelly. Not something yeah. I ever had. Elliot now. At the bar you had some leverage. Uh, maybe. On that bar stool. <laughs> maybe. Surely. Off the sideboards up to Norton. Norton. In deep. Surely back. Looking for Sawyer. So the lines mixed up a little bit after the two special teams were out there. Sailors go D to D. Headman pass nice, there to Norton. Nice, Norton. Goes hey, to the Nice shot there by... Off the melon or off the post? Not quite sure what that went off of, but looks to me like Connor Elliott was playing a little D there. Back to Shoreland. In deep. Sawyer. Vietnam can't control. And here come the Huskies. Down this right wing side. Good job by Elliott to come back. That's going to be an offsides. So yeah, it looked like Connor Elliott dropping back going in on D there. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. I wonder if they have a undisclosed injured sailor. Well, you know, they roll like two and a half power play units, and so those guys may have been a bit gassed. Yeah. Altitude's getting to them, Brian. <laughs> Buck bouncing around. We're at 8.27 left in this ball game. Sailors cling to a 3-2 lead over the Battle Mountain Huskies. Whitlinger with a puck. Gav chips it ahead here. To French. So French, Whitlinger, and Bayer now the line out there. Sis with the puck from the blue line. There's a pass to Bayer. He can't, can't pull the trigger on it. Here comes Battle Mount. The Huskies backhand the puck in deep. Sis battling for it. Now to Whitlinger. Whitlinger fires it behind the net. Tries to work it up the far side. No, no go. Whitlinger's going to get the puck here near side in the corner. Uh, Sebo can't get it out. Now they do. Whitlinger. Up this near side. Whitlinger, nice little move. Takes it in deep. Whitlinger looking, seeing what he's got. Knocked off the puck. Stays with it, though. Battling for it. We're down to 7.33 and counting. Battle out now with the puck, working it out of their own end. Over their own blue line. Up to the red line. Good pressure by the Sailors on the back check. Sis batting at the puck, controlling it. Works it back to his D partner, Stevenson. Up to Whitlinger. Whitlinger with some ice. Gains the red line. 
ahead to Nightcamp. Back to Willinger. Willinger can't control. Here we go. One on three now. Sailors able to get some fresh legs out there. Looked like there was going to be an odd man rush. But no. Fritzen puts on the brakes. Headman pass all the way up and across. Looking for Whitlinger. Whitlinger now deep. He's had a long shift. Probably time to get off. Fritzen now uses the boards. Fritzen. Look at that. Look at that. Fritzen playing the body. Gets a shot off. That was just a clinic on how to use your body to Pretty keep much. the other team away from the puck. Paint the picture. Nice puck possession by Fritzen straddling the line with the puck and took it in and out twice, I think. <laughs> I, I would never have gotten that from that, that stretch that he did. Yeah. I would, have, I would have just gone right down. That was lengthy. Yeah. Able to keep himself on sides because you could pull yourself off sides. Yeah. And he got the shot off. He dangled one more person and got the shot off. Yeah, and put that big butt right between the defender and the goal and, and got a nice shot off. So Fritzen showing some great body control there. And the puck in deep. Sailors now trying to work it out of their own end. Lance Bessie wraps it around out into the neutral zone. P fired right back in. McIntosh now chasing after it. And now Steamboat regrouping from behind their own net. Red man pass into the neutral zone. And that's going to be a nice. That will be a nice. Going to start connecting on these passes, boys. 3 2 the score. Sailors on top. Face off down to the stick side. Jacob Ducklow, Sailors junior goaltender, getting the start here at the Howlson Ice Arena. Go to that crutch mark. Centering here. And referee not letting Battle Mountain get the se final substitution there. So, Zanamana check. Gets the puck off the faceoff. Leaves it for Stevenson. Stevenson. Headman pass there to Patty Bomer. Bomer. Can't control it. I was going to say that, but I'll let Dad say it. Yeah. We'll be talking about that tonight over me. <laughs> <laughs> he may be dancing. Puck off sideboards. You'd maybe do early meatloaf before the yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Boys need to be full. So we're down to 5.37 left in this third period. 3-2 the score. Sailors on top. Face off just outside of the steamboat zone. Far side. Kodiak Crutchmar off the face off. Puck goes all the way back. Behind the Sailors go. Well, it's picked up by Finn Dyer. Dyer can't get it out of the zone. Zanamana check with it. Now Stevenson. Heck. Up that side looking for Bessie. No, excuse me. That was Ripley. Now Stevenson with the rush. Stevenson streaking in. Looking oh. for a man out front. Oh. Nobody. Nobody through, finds a crease, and it goes into the neutral zone. Sailors Rico up to Landon Ripley. Ripley, oh, nice little dangle there. Nice pass. We got it. Oh, score. Who got that, Kelly? Who got that? I think Patty. Patty Bomer. Patty B. Okay, well, he'll be talking about that yeah. at, at Meatloaf. Yeah. He, he must have heard me say Meatloaf, Brian. I think so. That got him hungry, and he buried that goal. Maybe what a pass a, by Ripley. His mom, you know, puts those in his lunchbox, you know. <laughs> Meatloaf sandwiches. Oh, yeah. And goals. With the goals. Uh, landed Ripley with a beautiful pass there. Yeah, that was a nice setup. Um, again, they got the puck in deep. A little two on one. Landon sauced it to Patty B. And they finished. Puck control by the Huskies. They rifle it in far near side here. Far side, Sis battling for it. Sailors now. Trying to work it out of their own end. There's a shot that's turned away. Fritz now tips the puck back to Sis. Sis up that far board to Whitlinger. Here are those Sailors. Almost had a nice little breakout. And now Fritzen gets knocked off the play, but Vietnam trying to clean up the mess, but Sailors are off sides. A little off. 4.52 left in this third period. 4-2 the score. Big shout out to our friends at Mountain Mattress and Furniture helping you and the sailors get a good night's sleep coming for a test nap today. Easy to find on Loggers Lane. So Vietnam off the faceoff, can't control, but a good job by Connor Elliott to get back. 
and at least slow the play down. Sis in there now, and here comes Whitlinger. Whitlinger up to Elliott. Elliott with some speed. Loop, leaves it for Whitlinger. Whit down deep. Centering pass back to Elliott. Elliott can't control. Sailors keep it in. Uh, look like it should it's be off. offside. Yep, it's off. It's in. Whoop. So in deep. Elliott on the back check. Nicely done. Now Sis cleans up the mess, gets it up to Whitlinger. Whitlinger loses the puck at the blue line. Sailors control. Back to Fritzen. Fritzen retreats. Puts it up this far side, looking for Sawyer. Now Elliott. Elliott streaking down. Oh. Leaves it there for Willinger. Willinger! Oh. Shot! Oh! Off the side of the goal. Sailors though, stay with the puck. Nice pass there by Connor Elliott. Unselfish play. Those are the ones that Bantam will take that shot. Yeah. High school varsity player is going to give that one up knowing Willinger's got a better opportunity to score. He just couldn't bury it. So we're down to 340 and counting. 4-2 the score. Good play by Shoreland. Jersey Shoreland up this near side. Flips the puck off the sideboards and indeed Finn Byer on the forecheck. Backed up there by Shoreland. Austin. And nice. Shoreland gets the puck back on the back check. Streaking in. Now controlled by Vaseline, the freshman. Shot on net. That one goes wide. Down to the final two or so minutes left. Sailors up 4-2. Comfortable lead now. Thank you, Mountain West Insurance. Austin Shore with the puck again on his stick over the red line. Takes it in. Looking for French. French can't control the hot pass. Into the neutral zone. Vasily fires it up off the sideboard. Vasily gets it back. Vasily's got some family. Aunts and uncles oh. watching in the Philly area. Oh. Fortunately for them, they won't be, well, they won't be as invested in the Super Bowl as they were last year. Yeah. But trickles in deep. And we're down to a minute something now. Shoreland with the puck on the headman pass. Shoreland. Nice pass. Yeah, works it ahead. There's oh. a shot. Oh, rebound. And an opportunity there as Nightcamp. Nice pass there. And Byer was just, he just crashed a little too hard. Where oh, was Nightcamp? Nightcamp showing some speed. The big man. And back the other way. There's a shot on that. That one goes wide. And throws control. Back behind the net, trying to work it out. I think that's Whitlinger. Can't tell. Oh. McIntosh. McIntosh with the puck. He's got a black shirt on him. Two black shirts on him now. Dykamp comes away with it, though. Steve now regrouping. That's Fritzen with the puck. He flips it up high. That's a hand pass. That hits off a black shirt, so we're good. Bessie now with the puck. Bessie. Flips that one up high, looking for Kier. Off the sideboards. No. No ice call. Norton. 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 Nobody gets that reference I, I know, anymore. Funny. I had to show my son the honeymooners last night just yeah, so just they could so hear him say Norton. Yeah. Well, he, didn't, he didn't even get it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what's <laughs> funny about that? I'm like, nothing. Nothing. It used to be a very to be funny show. So we're down at the final 30 seconds down 4-2. The score Sailors controlling nice. the two-goal lead. That's a, that's a big win for him. Yeah. Long shot on net. You kind of thought this could have been a trap game, right, Kelly? It could have been. It could have gone either way. Um, you know, goal by goal just tells the difference. And I think, yeah, maybe they could have uh, shot out that play there. Put it on a little harder in that second period. But bouncing around, and that's going to do it. Final buzzer. So Jacob Ducklow, the junior goaltender, gets a big win. Second win against this Battle Mountain team. That's always good to put in the ledger. Sailors congratulating Duck and uh, a big, big win. Kelly Bomber, thank you so much for taking the time, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Brian. Always, always a pleasure. Big shout out to all of our sponsors, our friends at Doxa Auto Clinic. Now, one-off Auto Center. Same great service, same place for all your automotive repair needs on Copper Ridge Drive. 
Switchback Sports. Switchback Sports, easy to find in the Inch of the West Building at 4th and Lincoln Downtown Steamboat for all your skiing and biking needs. Also, a big shout out to Mountain Eye Works, helping you with the ref see better. For all your eye care needs at Central Park Plaza and online at mountaineyeworks.com. Refs must have had a good game because I didn't need to make the Mountain Eye Works reference very often. No, you didn't. Uh, these refs did. They, they had a good game. They had an absolutely a very good game. Also, like to thank Steamboat Roofing for all your roofing needs. Go to Steamboat Roofing, helping the sailors raise the roof after every victory, and they'll be raising the roof here today. I Furnish, Steamboat's newest furniture store. Quality furniture and mattresses at great prices. Easy to find on Shield Drive, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, providing solutions for all your home, auto, commercial, and life insurance needs, plus so much more. The Paoli Group with the group Realty. Let Chris Paoli and his team help you with all your real estate needs. The Paoli Group has you covered at Steamboat Motors, Ford, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Chrysler. So much more with door-to-door -door service. Shop them online at SteamboatMotors.com. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for all your hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. Connor Elliott uh, gets the Yampa Valley Big Check, Yampa Valley Bank Big Check of the game. That was a huge one. Yeah, Connor Elliott smashed that guy. And that was a payback check. Yeah, it was. I think it was the payback check. He did right as he was listening to you, Brian. Yep. Took the number down, down. Waited a shift or two when the ref wasn't looking, and boom. I think he may have heard the meatloaf, too. Absolutely. Everybody's hungry tonight. Amy, I hope you made it up. We're all coming over. Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building material needs and, of course, mountain mattress and furniture. All right, we're going to put this one in the books. Thanks so much for listening. You have a happy and safe one. Your Steamboat Sailors, a big, big win, 4-2. The final score on KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7 and 97.7. Your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Steamboat Sailors Ice Hockey on KTYV Sports on FM. Brought to you by Alpine Lumber, Steamboat Moving Company, High Furnace, Mountain West Insurance, Switchback Sports, Mountain Nine Works, Shock Auto Credit, Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Rockers Auto Club, Payoli, Rubido Lace Hardware, and the all new Steamboat Motors. Thanks for listening to Steamboat Sailors Sports. We're on three. One, two, three. We're on 105.7 on FM, KTYV, Steamboat Springs. Thank you to Carpet Shop for Carpet, Hardwood, Bungie, Vinyl Plank Point, and a great selection of area rugs by Mohawk and Carrick. Our family invites you to come on in and walk all over us. The Carpet Shop, T680 Jacob Circle. Into Thursday, snow showers off and on highs in the low 30s. We'll continue to see more rounds of snow showers Friday through the weekend as temperatures turn colder. I'm Deborah Southern, Skidoo South.